Hey guys, Pragmatic Prepper here. I just want to do a quick follow-up uh, to yesterday's video. Uh, first off, uh, the Super Bowl um, ratings were not particularly impressive, which is what I was hoping for. They only had a modest increase of 300,000 viewers up from last year, which is tiny based on the growth that, that the NFL uh, audience uh, should be. Um, so they actually posted, again, one of the worst... Uh, ratings they've had in the last decade. Uh, it was, I think, uh, compared to, it was like 101.7 million last year and only 102 million this year. So when you're talking about increases, you're talking about I, not even, I mean, you're talking less than three tenths of a percent. So that didn't work out for them. Second, um, I had some interesting responses uh, to my video from yesterday, um, some were positive, some were critical, which I do appreciate um, because it gives me the chance to um, think about some things and maybe consider other viewpoints. But there's a couple things that I do not budge on. I'm mostly open-minded when it comes to um, hearing different viewpoints, but there are two things that I don't budge on. One is the premise of the Second Amendment. When I hear arguments from people that say stupid things like, the Second Amendment was written to only include muskets, and stuff like that, it makes me laugh, okay? Because if that were true, that would mean that the First Amendment was only written to include people that wrote with you know, ink quill pens and uh, used, a, you know, a printing press. And that's ridiculous. So on uh, based on that premise, the, the First Amendment can only apply to uh, things like that and would not include the internet, social media, television, radio. I mean, the premise is absurd. So I do not believe that the First Amendment was written for muskets or for hunting or for self-defense in the way that people define it these days. The Second Amendment was expressly written to protect the people of the United States from a tyrannical government, period. If you don't believe that or you don't understand that, you are wrong. You don't understand the context of the founding of the United States and you don't understand the context in which that document was written, okay? You don't understand the Constitution. That that's It's point blank. That's what it is. It's expressly stated in the Bill of Rights, in the Second Amendment, that the Second Amendment is not given to us by the government. The Second Amendment is something that is a God-given right. The Bill of Rights as a whole are God-given rights. Not that we are granted by government, but that we are granted by God that shall not be infringed upon by the government. Therefore, any regulation of any of those rights, and I'm specifically talking about the Second Amendment now, any regulation or infringement upon those rights is against the Constitution and against the right of the people. Same way that it is for the First Amendment. And I, I had some, some people saying that, you know, we need to regulate this and we need to regulate that or things aren't made for this and things aren't made for that. No, the Bill of Rights is absolute and guaranteed. And I had a, a, a foreign um, commenter, which I always enjoy because they, they don't seem to have any grasp or understanding of what American culture or American government is like and what it's supposed to be like. It's not what it is now. The way it is now is not what it's supposed to be like. It's not the way it was intended to be. But people like to come on and lecture us about our system of government. I don't lecture them about theirs because I would never want to live in their systems of, gov of government and uh, sacrifice my freedoms. In any event, there was, a, there was an American who was saying that there's far too many uh, killings and mass shootings and things happening in the United States. Which is interesting to me. The vast majority of mass shootings happen in gun-free zones, okay, gun-free. It's almost as if criminals and people that want to do bad things 
don't care about gun-free zones. It's almost as if criminals don't follow the law. It's weird. It's weird. Okay. On a serious note, the choice to do something evil always comes first. The choice of what instrument to use is a secondary choice. Period. And if you want to tell me that guns are the problem, they're not. First of all, areas with the highest and strictest gun regulations have the highest crime rates, okay? Chicago, Detroit, LA, New York City. Strictest gun laws, highest murder rates. You look at the states and the, the cities with the lowest gun regulation and the highest gun ownership, they have the lowest areas of crime, period. And then, and then you get the European commenters that say, we don't have things happen like that. Yes, you do. They still have mass shootings. They have people that run you over in vans, blow stuff up, set things on fire, okay? Stab people. Look at the things that happen in France and the UK. It's not, they're not isolated incidents. They happen a lot. And most of that is related to letting people into your country that shouldn't be there in the first place and not vetting them properly. And then they, you know, will call Americans racist for wanting us to, uh, for us wanting to uh, vet who comes into our country. So I, I think those those comments are, are, are very entertaining to read. Uh, I had a commenter tell me that uh, their system of healthcare and education is better than ours because their government pays for it. Okay. Well, you're making my point for me. Our our education system was absolutely fine until the Department of Education was founded in the 70s. Since the 70s, our scores and our, uh, you know, our testing scores and, and our general overall performance in education, we used to be number one in the world and we've dropped because of that since the formation of the Department of Education. The Department of Education is, is simply there to regulate what people are taught. The government should not, should not be deciding what, what children are taught. And clearly they're not doing a good job of it, apart from indoctrinating children into a liberal ideology. That's what the Department of Education is, is formed for, and that's what it's been doing for almost 50 years now. So there's that issue. Uh, then uh, she also talked about college and how college you know, is paid for in other countries. Again, the student loan uh, crisis issue was created by the government. I need to state, if I haven't stated strongly enough, that government regulation and intervention in education is the problem. We don't need more government re regulation. We need less, period. The government got in the business of getting in bed with um, bankers and, and, and educational uh, institutions to provide guaranteed loans to teenagers who had no idea what they were getting into, uh, what that money really meant and how expensive it was going to be, and told everyone they need to go to college. Not everyone needs to go to college. We have far too many kids in college studying pointless majors like gender studies and just getting a liberal arts degree, which leaves you nowhere but in debt. It used to be that if you were a very good student and you worked very hard, you could go to college. That's how it worked. Nowadays, everyone goes to college, which is, has basically led to degree inflation, which makes a degree uh, not worth the paper it's printed on. You have kids going to, going to college, changing their majors 30 times. Maybe they graduate, maybe they don't. Then they're saddled with student loan debt and they can't get jobs to pay uh, them well enough to, to make the degree worth it. And that is because of the government. That's not in spite of the government. We don't need more government regulation. We need less. So now you have all these kids complaining that uh, their government, their, that their their education should be paid for after the fact. Um, so I should I should have to pay my my taxpayer dollars to pay for someone else's bad decisions? No, it doesn't work that way. This same commenter also talked about uh, healthcare system. They said their healthcare system is better. Their costs are lower. Blah 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 blah. Okay, again. The healthcare problems that we have in our system are because of the government. The government got in bed with health with uh, health insurance uh, agencies and uh, big pharma, and created rules and regulations that actually got rid of the capitalist functions. Okay, they made it illegal for pharmaceutical companies to price match with each other. 
Therefore, eliminating any sort of competition, uh, any sort of capitalist competition, which brings the price up for consumers and for health insurance. Also, when it comes to uh, pharmaceuticals and when it comes to healthcare providers, uh, namely doctors, they allow healthcare providers to pay certain rates to certain doctors for services and then bill the consumer, us, whatever rate they want to. So you might have a surgery that actually the health insurance company pays $2,000 for, and it costs the consumer 10,000, okay? There is no transparency allowed in our system. And that's because of government uh, intervention. The government makes money off of this, big corporations make money off of this, and the healthcare industry makes money off of this, obviously. The problem is there is no ability to allow for capitalist comp competition in healthcare. It's not, we need more government regulation, we need less. So it, it, it's, it's become a corporatist system and not a capitalist system. If we had a, an actual capitalist healthcare system like we were intended to have, the cost would be much lower and the, the services would be better. That being said, we still have excellent services in the United States, which is why people come here to have uh, have operations done and, and other things and come here for healthcare. Um, I would appreciate any more feedback. I just wanted to follow up. Um, I love when I get uh, comments from people that don't understand our system of government or don't understand why it was made the way that it was. And don't understand that it's become bastardized uh, the way that it is today. So uh, I'm looking forward to hearing more comments about this, and uh, looking forward to doing some more comment uh, or comment or um, content very soon in the future. Um, look forward to hearing from you. Pragmatic Prepper out.